Hello, this is Paul Poppin again. After receiving many great feedbacks about the first tape, it was only logical to go on more adventures to make a second one. I was traveling through Zelenogorsk and stumbled into a gentleman. I asked him a few questions, which he answered in a way that made me believe I could trust him. Name, uh, Twisted. I am 23. Uh, before the apocalypse, I was homeless. Didn't have anything going for me. And since it started, I just made it all about helping others. That's why I got this medic badge, wherever it was, there. And I always carry medicine, and food, and water, and give it to anyone who needs it. Pavlova looks like I might try and make it my home. After learning a little bit more about Mr. Twisted, I decided to pay a visit to one of my good old friends to record and share his story. Yeah, I'm John Morgan. I'm 40 years old. I was born in a small town in uh, Montana. I uh, was raised up by a farming family and then worked for a farmer for a while. Well, I was basically trying to work my way through college to get a degree in psychology and then I ended up joining the FBI where I worked for them for about 14 years or so. I don't exactly remember how long ago. Uh, for a while there, I was being fine. I was uh, rose the ranks up to special agent for a while, special agent uh, in the FBI and homicide for maybe eight years, and then I got shot in an incident where uh, well, we were just trying to find the murderer and it turns out he was part of a gang when he ha and we ended up having a bit of a shootout and I got shot somewhere in the chest I believe I I only remember being shot and then passing out and waking up in the hospital um, where I proceeded to basically ask for a few vacation days where I just took a plane to Moscow and on that trip to Moscow, I uh, think we were shot down and we landed somewhere in the ocean and I drifted here. We woke up in the island and just tried to find work and then eventually I found a nice place to stay at for a while where I would grow tobacco and uh, other stuff for the person I lived with and then was able to move out in a small town with a bunch of people, nice people. Uh, where I'm currently just trying to build a house and grow my tobacco business. Keep having difficulties on the way. I keep getting sick and then I, get, I keep getting distracted with other business. Yeah. Don't really know exactly what my hopes and dreams are. Kind of just want to, well, want to grow my tobacco business. Get get it more going help people out see all I can do with just try and get actual civilization going at least help get civilization going back out wherever the heck we are after interviewing my good friend I decided to head over to Mishkino where I've been hearing a lot of rumors about a good group of people living over there. Also rumors about their leader that goes by the name of Bushman, who may just be the man who helped me on my first day back here. Alright, so let me start off by saying um, I am the Deer King. People call me the Deer King, it's not a name I picked. Uh, when we first opened the town, um, I just killed an elk, and my buddy uh, Brink, my second in command, dared me to wear the hat. So that wool, well, the yeah, the skull. So that's when we just started opening up the town. That's when we just started opening up uh, free food, free water, free medication, free housing. 
So, <laughs> a whole bunch of uh, new people to the island heard about this and started running through town. And this one guy came up to me and goes, All hail the deer king, after I just saved his life from a wound infection. And then all the, the new guys behind him <laughs> go, All hail the deer king. And I was like, No, 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 stop. <laughs> um, uh, people call me the deer king, though, and it kind of just stuck. And I'm keeping it. Uh, um, uh, personally, I love Mishkino. It's we based here, we took it over, and I've never been happier. It's one of those things that you feel like you're helping the community. We all remember being that new guy that just got pounded on by these bigger groups, and it's not fun. It's a struggle. I just. Now that I'm in a position to help, I'm not going to squander that. I mean, I got a great team here. I got a great team that works day in and day out to make sure this town is good, running, secure. We're finally starting getting friendly with the, the Zelenogorsk people. Not that we were ever on bad terms, it's just it took us a while to get in contact with each other, but... We're growing. The friendly people on this island are growing, and it's growing faster than some people think. And I think for the bandits, it's going to be bad news eventually. Because the more people they end up robbing, the more people we end up getting. And that's really what it all comes down to. Being nice to your average everyday person. Because just because this is an apocalypse doesn't mean we need to lose our humanity, too. After talking to the king of Mishkino, I decided to make my way to Zelenogorsk to meet the president. So, came, came here, not. not say going on two months or just past two months actually now since I uh, arrived it seems uh, very early on I drifted around a bit kind of got to know some people um, some of those people uh, a lot of them living in Pavlovo however I never lived there myself uh, in terms of uh, how I became president it kind of uh, happened pretty quickly uh, the radio crew I went to their shop in Cabino and he had a mission board there, but uh, one of the missions was uh, to go to the Northwest Airfield and give a speech in a nice suit, which I happily did. I had quite the adventure there. Uh, I didn't bring a pair of night vision goggles, unfortunately, and I got lost in the dark at the airfield. And I met a stranger there who helped guide me through the airfield into the tower. I met a couple other people. Um, some of which I didn't see or even hear, but they were there. Uh, hand members, ironically enough, I was told later. But uh, shortly after I gave my speech uh, at the airfield, made my way back down, uh, met the radio man, got a little reward for it. I think it was a uh, car 98. But uh, once I did that mission, uh, it didn't really stick for a little bit, but uh, you know, I started telling people, I was like, yeah, I'm the president now, you know, got the title Mr. President from the radio crew, and it kind of stuck from there. Uh, I met a couple people that were uh, very friendly. Uh, they decided that they wanted to join the cause, just form a small group, and we ended up here in Zelenogorsk, and with me and these compatriots of mine, uh, we started building a flag, and an assassination attempt was actually made on the very first day, making this place. Uh, which the assassin was killed and they were driven out of town. Uh, they were actually bandits, ironically, uh, but they kind of faked it for a couple hours while they tried to find their opportunity to snag up us. Um, we did pretty good for the first couple days there. 
uh, occasionally have some members, uh, one of which was actually someone that came to our aid during the, uh, the standoff on the first day by the name of Harry. Uh, we started growing more and more. Uh, we had a, some issues of some people um, that we got rid of and people came and went whatnot. But for the most part, we've had the same core group of guys for a couple of weeks now going. Uh, I would say that I hope for the future more people can uh, come together in terms of uh, maintaining peace. You know, we uh, a lot of the rumors I heard when I first came here were that the hand and the loonies were the real bad guys of the land, but I've never been harmed or threatened by either of them. And word around here seems to spread like a game of telephone, you know? And I think most people should take uh, words of a grain of salt and they should look more for the actions of the group uh, or the groups or the people that are uh, accused around here because when you dig a little deeper, you certainly find out it's not always as plain and simple as some people may uh, put it out to be.